May the angels lead you into paradise. May the choir of angels welcome you and lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Amen. And may his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Welcome to St. Isaac Joke School. Most of you made it back, except a few who chose the streets. I know being at St. Isaac Joke's, you're a freak of nature to your friends in public school, but what do you care what they think? By the time they're 20, most of them are going to be addicted, dead, or in prison. Like Jose Ramos. Many of you knew him as a junkie in the park. As of this morning, he's a dead, full body. Before Jose dropped out, he was the best athlete that this school ever had. So if you're gonna go, you wanna drop out, take off now. Do yourselves a favor. Save yourself the extra homework, all right? And me the heartache. So if you're gonna go, go now. No? Nobody wants to go? Good. You're here. And we're here for you. Coffee's gonna get cold. I think I want to start a new religion. One that doesn't believe that angels are going to take anybody anywhere. The one that doesn't believe that the poor are blessed. Or one that doesn't use a, a dead young man as its logo. I don't care if you are a priest. You're going to hell. Frank, I got a kid. Two of my classes doesn't speak any English. Um, Lee, Lee. Uh, Lee, Lee Cortez. Right. He speaks English. What he doesn't do is speak. You won't have any problem with him. You got him pegged as addicted debtor in prison? Look, let me get something straight between us right from the start, okay? Okay, shoot. Did you spend recess with a hooker? Who told you that? It's a small school, Griffin, where it gets around. Did you? All we're doing is talking. No, I bought a cup of coffee. Yes, I did. Cream, no sugar. Or do you already know that? Well, you got a rule in your spine to hook her a cup of coffee? Look, there's three rules around here. Rule number one, teach. Rule number two, teach. Rule number three, teach some more. Stay away from the streets. It's life and death down here. Just be a little careful. Okay. I can take care of myself. Maybe. I was thinking of the kids. You see, Griffin, in this neighborhood, there's a kind of ecology of evil. And it doesn't take a whole hell of a lot to upset that. You, know, you buy a hooker a cup of coffee one day, that's fine. You do it two days in a row, you're giving her something to look forward to. So you see how fast those balances are upset. Wouldn't want to upset the pimps, and it would be Frank. What the hell happened to you? Look, you mess with the balance of that family, that kid could be you dead. You know what messes with the balances? When did you ever knock on his door? Can you handle what's on the other side of that door? It's not that hard. It's getting a kid to school. And you think he'll be here? I guarantee you I'll get that kid to school on time, every day, the rest of the term. They... Lee, I'm not going anywhere. You might as well open the door. Lee, come on. You're a student. You come to school. It's that simple. You called somebody. I don't know what you're talking about. Somebody called somebody, and they sent somebody here to talk to my mother. And so she got upset. And when she gets upset, she drinks, and they fight. So I have to stay home and make sure that nothing happens to the kids. See, so I pretend to get sick. Except that she can tell when I pretend, so I have to get sick. See, you and Father Larkin think that you're making things better, but you're not. You're making me sick. Lee, staying home is not going to make it any better. You don't walk out on your family. So what are you going to do? You're going to stay home and draw? Living in a fantasy is not going to help, Lee. Don't you listen to anything I say? 
Just get away from my apartment and don't come back, okay? We don't want your help, just leave us alone. Frank, did you call? Did you call? Yes. Why? When you told me that when Lee stayed at home, there was abuse, I'm required by law to report abuse. I did everything I could not to know. Because I knew it would happen. You forced my hand, Griffin. Oh, Frank, you're not going to make this my fault. Hey, look, Griffin, down here, the family situation, there's a lot of problems. It's not an excuse to do nothing, Frank. What would you like me to do? I don't know. Work with the families. Work with the families? That's a brilliant idea, Griffin. Why didn't I think of that before? But when? You know, most of the families around here got to work two jobs just to pay the rent. And they're not the problem anyway. The drugs are. So why don't we do this? Why don't we go down and we can get together with the cops to keep the drugs off the street? Huh? Yeah. That's it. No, but wait. You see, it's the feds. It's the federal government that's turning their back and letting the drugs pour in here. So you know what? Maybe, uh, maybe we should take a bus and go to Washington. Oh, wait a minute, I forgot. Our government already has a big money war on, uh, on drugs. And we can see how effective that is. But if you want to go, you go. Me, I got a job. I teach. I don't do nothing, I teach. And that's what I thought you were here to do. You know, Griffin, you don't make a half bad teacher. But you gotta, you gotta learn what happens when you uh, mess with the ecology. me, Father, for, uh, I have screwed up. I want to be forgiven for the distance between what I am and what Lee needs. The kid hates me. Well, I'm impressed. I didn't come here to be hated. No, you came here to make a difference. Today you did. The kid came all the way to school to tell you how much he hated you. You get that kid to hate you all the way to graduation. The Griffin, you've beaten some very, very long odds. Who knows, Griffin, maybe you're turning into a teacher after all. You're pissed at me. Excuse me? Pissed? Man, you ought to be giving me a medal. Do you know how unprofessional this is, not to mention how unethical it is? You know what it is? You know what's got you by the balls, Father? That kid is improving. And you said it couldn't be done. Oh, yeah, he's doing a lot better. You've got him a lot more sensitive and feeling. Yes, I have. And what's going to happen to that kid at the end of the year when you drop him off at his mother's apartment? With all that sensitivity and feeling, what's going to happen to him then? Or are you going to take him with you when you go? Because you are going at the end of the year, aren't you? And guys like you uh, don't stick around places like this forever, right? But I'll tell you what, Mr. Byrne, if you're willing to commit to Lee for as long as he needs you here, then that's fine with me. But if you can't commit to that, then you get him out now. Look, I'm trying to get him into a home. Let him stay until then. He goes now. I can't just kick him out, Frank. Look, pretend you have some feelings for once in your life, Frank. 